Lesson number two: Learn to use Microsoft Windows Seven. In this lesson, we are going to learn about operating system, its components, taskbar, and its components, the use of gadgets and calculator, the advantages of Windows, and how we can select, deselect, sort, hide icons. And we will learn about the touch screen computers. Before we can start, let us take a simple example. At home, your parents and grandparents manages all the work so well. In other words, they act like a manager. Even in the computer, the computer is made up of a different parts and does different kinds of work at a time. It also requires a manager for it. Operating system is a software that helps you to operate the computer system through its various function. It control and manages the different parts of a computer system. There are different types of operating system. Some of the popular operating systems are MS DOS, MS Windows, Unix, Linux. Now let us learn more about Microsoft Windows. When we switch on the computer, the operating system gets loaded into the computer memory. This process is called as booting. Microsoft Windows has many versions. For example. Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows Seven, Windows Eight, and so on. You can see a screen when the process booting is processed. This is called as a desktop. Now, in the slide, it is Windows Seven desktop. It has four components: desktop background, icons, taskbar, and gadgets. Desktop background: the background pictures of Windows Seven. Desktop is called as a desktop background. Now, what is icons? An icon is a small picture that is used to open a program, file, or folder. For example, computer icons, recycle bin. Now, how we can select an icon? You uh, to select an icon, follow the given steps. Bring the mouse mouse pointer over an icon. Click the left mouse button once. The particular icon will be selected. How we can deselect an icon? Follow the given steps. Move the mouse pointer away from the selected icon. Click the left mouse button once, and the selected icon will be automatically deselected. Now, sorting icons. Sorting the icons means arranging the icons on the desktop. Follow the given steps. Right click on any blank area of the desktop. A pop up menu will appear. Click the sort by option. Click the choice given in the menu to arrange the icons in that order. You can arrange according to the name, according to the size, even according to the date modified, or even you can select auto arrange icons. The computer will arrange. itself the icons now how you can hide the desktop icons you can hide all the icons on the desktop follow the given steps right click on any blank area of the desktop click view option from the pop up menu from the sub menu click the show desktop icon to uncheck it all the icons will be hide to unhide the icons you need to click on the show desktop icons now what is taskbar a long horizontal bar at the bottom of the desktop is called as a taskbar a taskbar has a start button middle section system tray show desktop buttons and quick launch icons now start button Start button is used to do many activities. When you left click on the start button, a menu appears on the screen. This is called as a start menu. All programs. It contains shortcut to open programs within the list. Now, shut down button. To shut down your computer, just click on the start button and then click on the shut down option. Now, how you can search the programs and files there is a blank area above the start button you can use this blank area you can type the name of the file to search on the computer 
shortcut buttons in windows on the upper right side corner of a window you can find the shortcut buttons in a windows minimize button if you click the button this the window shrinks to the taskbar maximize button it is used to increase the size of a window to its maximum restore down button when you minim maximize a window the maximize button looks like a complete square it resizes the window back to its original space now the last close button you can close a window by clicking this button the shape of mouse pointer changes with different actions you do on a computer so in the given slide you can see different types of mouse pointer shapes now what is windows 7 accessories you have already used three of the windows accessory commonly used by everyone that is paint notepad and word pad in this lesson we will learn about the windows 7 calculator and how to use it to follow the given steps click start button click all programs click on accessories from the sub menu click on calculator calculator is used to do simple sums now touch screen computers you have learned that a touch screen computer allows you to control it with the touch of your finger 